In this video, I'm going to show you an Excel workbook that translates an 837 EDI file onto its spreadsheet. This is the 837 that it will be translating. So let's start. Okay, in this workbook, there is the translate 837 button that if you click on it, will translate the data in the EDI file and put the header information here in this column and put the claims and other details in here in this data sheet. So let's click on the button and start the translation process. It's done. So here is the EDI interchange information such as the sender ID, the receiver ID, and the interchange control number. We also have the header section, which will have the submitter, receiver information, as well as the billing provider information. In the EDI file, they would be found here. This is the submitter information. This is the receiver information. This is the billing provider information. In the data sheet, we see that the EDI file contained four patients. Three have their own insurance, while Catherine Janeway is using her husband's insurance. They each have a claim. And here are the procedures they had done. Now let's take a look at the source code to see the workings of how the EDI file got translated into Excel. We go there by selecting Developer in the menu, then Visual Basic. So here is the source code that gets executed when the Translate button is clicked. This program uses the EDI Dev Framework EDI component. You must install this component before you can reference it. A trial version can be obtained from the edidev.com website. That's edidev.com. Once it's installed, you can reference it by going to Tools in the menu, then References, then select the EDI Dev Framework EDI. This program is using the 32-bit version. Before I run through the algorithm of the program, let me open up the EDI file using the eFile Manager utility. This is the EDI file. And this is its corresponding Ceph file. Okay, 
Now I can view the EDI file with its schematics. This helps me see the properties of the location of the segments. Also, let me arrange the eFile Manager and source code so that the, they are next to each other. Okay, so the logic of the program is to first create an EDI document object of the framework EDI component. Then load the schematics of the EDI file, which is obtained from the Ceph file. Then load the EDI file. Next, we iterate through each segment, identifying them and reading their data elements. We start with the first data segment, which is the ISA segment. Then go into a loop. Call the segment.next method. until there is no more segment to read. We uniquely identify a segment by checking its ID, area, loop section, or loop ID. For example, the ISA segment has a segment ID ISA, is in area zero, is not in any loop section, nor has it a loop ID. So the condition to read the ISA segment is if area equals zero, if segment ID is equals to ISA, then obtain its data elements and assign the ones that we want to a cell in the Excel spreadsheet. Let's take another example. This NM1 segment in loop ID 1000A, which has the submitter information. It's in area 1. The loop ID is 1000A, and its segment ID is NM1. So the condition to read the NM1 segment is if area is 1 and if the loop ID is 1000A and the segment is NM1, then obtain the data elements and assign the one that we want to a cell in the worksheet. You would do this for all the other segments in the EDI file. And that's how you translate an EDI file into an Excel spreadsheet with the EDI Dev Framework EDI software. For more examples, visit www.edidev.com Thanks.